Okay, um, so after a week of uh, kidnapping me and um, making me do very terrible things and suing me and um, torturing me, the uh, producers of Justin Bieber told me never to say anything about him again. Yeah. So anyways, the, our heroes are these two detectives? One of them is a skeptical fat guy who's like, That girl is just making stuff up. There's nobody in that footage of her. And then there's the other scrawny cop who gets obsessed to the point where he thinks he's a superhero. I thought I was a superhero once. I lived in a box of solitude until hobo bearded Superman, yeah, kicked me out. I'm a bitch. And so the big bad, but not so big bad kid, hits all these people, and for a while, nothing happens. I'm serious, the cops like get nowhere. But then the big pervert cop, call me daddy, cop catches the kid, hooray! And they interrogate him, but then the big bad evil real showing back kid comes in and kills him, and then they find out the kid they just captured was actually Dr. Octagon. <laughs> And through all this chaos, the old man that nobody listens to except for the younger cop spews out all these spoilers that could have ended this series and they could have captured the kid and saved a bunch of lives like a bajillion episodes sooner. Okay, so I know that none of this must make sense. So anyways, among all that, the first lady, the one with my Romy, she goes even more insane. Yes, more insane. And the dog starts talking to her, and it's like, we need to be a more potential nihilistic bitch. You're a dog I created out of traumatic issues, clearly talking to me, showing I have mental issues. You must be right. I am serious. This woman's like a complete pretentious bitch. We're supposed to feel sorry for her, and I just want to shoot her half the time. So then the older cop, who by now has completely given up, has wandered into this weird little fantasy world with weird people. Yes, weird and weird. Scientists have reported that this whole series is like if you took Buckhead's music, okay, Buckhead's music, and multiplied it by 4chan, and divided the whole world by zero, mixed it all together, and then you took whatever came out, and forced a whole load of LSD down what came out. That is hella weird shit there. So Torsicon, I am a bum, and I find this stuff creeping me out. This is so weird. And so the really ill woman figures out that the really evil, evil dog, and the really, really evil kid named Sean and Batu are really the same force. Who would have thunk it? And the older cop wakes up and realizes that the old dog Maromi is actually a dog from the girl's past or something like that. Like when she was a little girl, the, the dog, she had a dog and they were taking it out for a walk and then she had a leg cramp or something and then the dog ran out and it died because of a car hitting it or something. All because of that cramp. I had a cramp that killed my dog once. Poor lassie. And then this really, really, really huge Maromi comes out of nowhere and starts destroying the city. And then Godzilla is like, hey man, get your own city. And so there's this big battle and everything like explodes and everything goes like boom and this and that. And then all of a sudden, without any warning, they all go into that world that the first cop was in earlier. And after a lot of stuff that just didn't make any sense, including the girl, like, making up with the... Making the fact with the terms or the... I don't know, she like, she like came to terms with the fact that she killed the dog and it was all her fault or, or something like that. I don't know why, it was, she had a crap for Pete's sake. It wasn't her fault. And she also came to terms with the fact that sh she created a monster out of her denial. Now that she does have to apologize for or at least do something about because she took off a whole lot of shit. And so the fat cop literally breaks the fourth wall with a bat that, that she had, that the first lady had at one point or another. And so after that, the Maromi turns into this big black blob and it submerges everything and everything goes kaboom! And so two years later, everything is shown fine, like the biggest big lipped alligator moment I've ever seen. And the old younger cop is shown on the street doing the same calculations that he was doing, like the younger older man was doing before. And it's like, wait a minute. Is he, is he the older man after all? Like, was he the younger version of the old man? And like, the old man was like some weird kind of interdimensional person? Or is the force now with him? 
It doesn't make any sense. This whole series is just like one huge, gigantic drug trip. I mean, the whole, the theme song itself is so messed up. It is so creepy. It shows everyone in front of a giant mushroom cloud, a giant mushroom cloud, laughing, smiling, and dancing, and all that, singing, let's all worship the giant mushroom cloud in the sky. Hey, hey. Reminding everyone that this is all taking place in Japan. I'm a bum! And I know that's messed up for several reasons. Isn't it awesome? This is Crazy Wolf Bum going, Change! You got change! Oh, come on, I'm a guy out with Come on, change! Really screaming right to hide? Should I bet my hit me after this video? Too late.